Hello. Welcome. Today I want to do something completely different. That's something that I'm super interested in, and maybe you will be too. Um, I want to read to you and research some stuff with you and talk about it. Like, first time for me. Maybe first time for you, you know? And I have this book that I've had for years. It is The Elements Encyclopedia of Magical Creatures, okay? Yeah. Alright, I've been reading this every night, and I don't know like 99% of these things. I had never heard of them. And it's really fascinating because, you know, like, living in the West, you get really, like, at least I try not to be jaded, but it's like, kind of hard not to. It's like, I'm subconsciously jaded. Like, you don't even consider that there are so many other cultures that have their own myths, myths and mythologies. Like, like, I'm, like, like, the United States doesn't really, I mean, okay, oh my god. Like, what we learn in school is, you know, basically Greek and Roman mythology, and that's about it. You know, if you're lucky, you can learn more. Like, I was a religious studies major, so, like, I got a taste. Like, not even, we barely covered anything really interesting, to be honest. But, um, I'm still always trying to know more about the things that I already know and the things I've never heard of. So, I want to, like, maybe, like, once a week, randomly open this book and read about a creature and then look it up and I don't know I don't know what else I, don't, I want to try to draw what they describe because a lot of these don't have any pictures you know like and even online if the creature is so obscure there's no pictures now I don't draw anymore and when I did draw it wasn't like from my head like that when I draw from my head it gets really weird <laughs> It's really distorted but I mean that's kind of like the fun in it you know so maybe you know I don't know I think this will be fun so I, I I didn't know if I should go in alphabetical order or just open um like like by alphabetical order I mean like um I'll do a b c d and blah 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 and then once I reach a z I go back to a again because I mean there's multiple a creatures you know or if I should just open it randomly I think I'm gonna do the alphabetical one just so I can keep track of which ones I've already gone over. <laughs> okay. So, first creature in our book here, our first A creature is. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, I think this goes without saying, but I'm not really good at pronouncing words no matter what language they're in. Um, so. Please bear with me. We have a boa cube. A boa cube. Yes, it says. This strange creature originates on the Malay Peninsula. Described as having many tentacles and a soft, smooth skin, it waits for unwary pilgrims at the bottom of the Tower of Victory in Chitor. Because um, I didn't know where this was. And, okay, so it's on the Malay Peninsula. Okay, wait. So it's like kind of by India. This is like this area. I didn't see. I don't. I'm learning already. I didn't realize all this was right next to each other. Like I didn't realize like if this is India, Thailand is like right there. I did not know how close they were. I mean, I don't know how. I don't know. How, I don't know how accurate this map is in, for, in like terms of distance and size. But okay. Um, it's described as having many tentacles and a soft, smooth skin. Like an octopus, um, it waits for unwary pilgrims at the bottom at the bottom of the Tower of Victor in Chitor. This is the the Tower of Victory in Chitor Chitorgar, Chitorgar, Chitor, Chitor Fort. Okay, I had a dream about this. I either had a dream about this, or I've watched a video on this creature. And I'm not going to read because I'm just going to tell you what I know from memory. But this creature like chases you up these steps or something. This is either from my dream or some, some part of my memory. But it's like, yeah, it's like this kind of creature that chases you up these steps or something. Now, I thought it lives in the water. It didn't say that, but I guess tentacles, water. Okay. All right. So, okay. So it says pilgrims come to climb this tower, each level representing a further stage on the journey towards enlightenment. Okay. I've seen a video on this. As the pilgrim climbs, the creature grows stronger, changing color and shape, drawing the life force from the unsuspecting victim. Supposedly, 
The creature will only attain a final form and be fully alive when a pilgrim reaches the top of the tower. To date, no one has been dedicated enough to do this. Really? No one? No one? Absolutely no one. No one? So, like, a tourist would do this right away. Hold on a second. So, I find this one really interesting because I get really, like, okay, I believe in absolutely almost everything. Okay? Like, I don't need to see it to know that it's probably real. But... I do get sketchy, like, I do think people can make up stuff, you know what I mean? Like, okay, because the guy that, that like, f all the information I could find, the guy that, like, talks about this creature, like, at the earliest was, like, in the 1950s, like, late 1950s, and he has, like, a book about it, but not about, not a whole book, but, like, a book with a bunch of, like, imaginary creatures. His name is Jorge something, okay? But, like, the issue is that, he got this information from a book from like the 1930s or something like that and also from arabian nights and if you know anything about arabian nights um like more than half of it was written by this white guy francis something his name was francis something and like you know like all, almost all the, like the, the most famous tales from that book are not you know they're not from the original the original book they're not, not from the original like it's just Shahrazad stories. Okay, sorry, I'm just doing a good, awful job here at having a college degree. But that's not important. What's important is that I don't know if this creature exists because the tower that the creature is supposed to live at is from like it was built in like the 1400s, 1448. Okay, why why are there no other information about this creature from till like the 1900s? I'm not saying that it's not possible because it's definitely possible. I'm just saying that I feel like the people that lived in that area would have way more legends about this creature. You know? I mean, I've done like five minutes of research though, so take what I say with a grain of salt. Anyways, let's keep going. The boa... Oh, also I think it's bawa. The bawa queue. Okay. The bawa queue is bound to the tower until such time as a truly enlightened seeker arrives and climbs to the top um, and reaches nirvana. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know about this one. I don't know how real this one is. I think it could be real. I wish it was real, you know, because it's cool. But I just don't like where... I don't trust the sources that say they know about this creature. I will show you some artist renderings of what this creature could look like. I'm not going to draw it because I don't have a good camera angle set up yet. And it'll just be frustrating for me. Oh, wait, I just found out there's an Abawakyo song by a Japanese band called Boris. And um, they have a song called Abawakyo. And I think that's really, really fascinating. Oh, because, uh, okay, in, in an anime called Mobile Suit Gundam, there's a space station called Abawakyo. Wow, there's, there's got to be something there. This is so weird. Now I'm going to show you the, the ones that I think kind of do a good job depicting what this monster could look like. I'm um, sorry, I lose my voice. I not make this any bigger. But here's a one artist um, rendering. I think it could look like this. And if it was chasing me, I would just kill myself. It kind of looks like a cicalia, if that's how you say that also. Cicalias are um, what? Ursula is. It's a half woman, half octopus, which is awesome. This is kind of what this looks like to me. And if it is anything like that, that's really fascinating because one, this creature doesn't say anything about it living in water. You know? I'm having a parade right now with the cars. It doesn't say anything about this creature living in water, but it would be really cool to imagine that like humans, you know, like lots of like lots of creatures, there's multiple species or whatever, and um, maybe this one lives in India, doesn't live near water, you know what I mean? Like, what well, says it lives on the Malay Peninsula? Okay, wait a second. All right, we have a huge problem here, uh, geographically speaking. All right, because they said this creature originates on the Malay Peninsula, which you can't even see in this in this map I picked. I picked a bad map, but I want to show you where. Rajasthan is. This is Rajasthan. Okay. 
This is where the Tower of Victor that the creature is supposed to live at. Okay. It lives all the way over here. But it originated somewhere all the way over here off the map. You know what I'm saying? Let me find and try to find a better map. It's not doing it. Let's just use this regular map here. Uh, let's just use this one. Now, once again, we have a problem. The Malay Peninsula is somewhere in this area. And Rajasthan is like northeast. Nope. Northwest India. Somewhere over here. Okay. How does a creature that originates over here end up, you know, like, how does it end up? Guarding the tower all the way over here. I can't find any other information, but I want to know. Yeah, so on this creature, I'm going to have to call BS, which is really unfortunate because, like I said, I believe in everything. It's just that I don't think this one exists with the tower originating in like the 1400s and the Malay Peninsula being like 500 miles away. In fact, how, how far away is it? You know. <sighs> Now, I did not intend for this video to be like, let me debunk this creature that doesn't matter. I just, <laughs> I want it to be real. So I want to find out how it could be real. But instead I'm finding about finding out about how it can't possibly be real. I mean, it could possibly be real, but just the unlikeliness. Okay, like this creature, all right, originates here in Malay Peninsula. And the tower it's supposed to guard is somewhere in Rajasthan. And this is like, <laughs> this is like, it's 5.8, it's 5,874 kilometers, which is like over 3,000 miles. All right. Now, I'm not saying that this creature adheres to human physics, because since there's no information about it, literally anything is possible. But arguably, like, it's just so far away. Why would it be there and nowhere else? Why would it not stay where it was? <laughs> okay. Well, um, if you made it this far, kudos. Uh, I just thought this was interesting. I really stretched out this one creature. Um, if you like videos like this, let me know by giving this video a like. And I will make another one. Because this book has like a thousand creatures in it. I mean, I'm learning it with you. You know, like my crochet along videos. I like that whole like learning together thing. You know, not just me like constantly telling you stuff I know. Let's learn in unison. You know, I'm not in school anymore, so it's kind of nice to um, be in a environment where we're both filling our brains with information. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so uh, I'll try to do this once a week. If I, if I like this first video enough, then the next week will be B. And we'll see if we can get some kind of proof that the next creature is real. And maybe some more pictures. Because there really, really wasn't any. Like to even show you, like, this is what this creature could look like. Like, I just go by intuition what I think. And if someone else can create that, then I'll show you. But if I don't think that what the artist captured is accurate, I'm not going to. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to show you. But um, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.